Yeah, so I'm, I'm super excited to, to be here with you, Maima, um, in Accra, Ghana, um, as a next level uh, regional alum to this area, coming from Abuja, Nigeria. Um, it's super exciting to be able to sit with you in this space and watch your work and watch you interact with folks. Um, let's go back a little bit. Um, who are you? <laughs> Where are you from? What's your tribe? Hit me with it. Okay, first of all, I think I'm more excited because I've been, I've been here, the energy has been great. I've been dancing, doing exactly what I want to do. So, who am I? Yeah. My name is Maima. I'm energy, I'm movement. I'm basically uh, a Nigerian girl that loves to dance, passionate about movement and teaching. I am from a very beautiful local city called Kata Eregi mm -hmm. <laughs> in Niger State, um, Nigeria. Um, it's from the northern part of Nigeria and um, I live in the capital city doing what I love to do, mm. um, which is dancing, connecting with community and dance, and then teaching dance and mentoring people as well in dance. So we met um, during our Next Level residency in Abuja and you were our, our local partner yeah. there, um, chief logistician on the ground, uh, Jane on the spot, making things happen for us. Um, what's been going on with you since then? That was four years ago. Yeah. Like, talk to me about oh. like, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like before you talk about what's been going on since then, let's talk about what that experience was like for you. Uh, next level Nigeria uh. was um, for me I was excited about having the residency and connecting with artists but I was really excited about the opportunity that the young aspiring dancers and aerosol artists uh, rappers and MCs and all of that that they got to connect with everyone but I never thought I was going to have that experience as well. <laughs> I thought that experience was going to be me enabling others as I do but it became a huge experience for me. Mm. Just meeting with the artists, seeing how they work as well and being able to just be in the center of that mm -hmm. really meant a lot to me. I also love the idea that I, I had the ability to be like the liaison to get to ensure that these dancers uh, their needs were actually met because the program was designed to cater for their needs as well mm -hmm. um, and that was beautiful so just being able to help with that that really really meant a lot for me and then of course um, connections just grew from there you know mm -hmm. uh, of course meeting you was also great uh, opportunity, <laughs> yes. So, um, just sharing the cultural experiences and seeing how we could exchange that energy and and make it bigger. And and I was now opportune um, to not only have someone selected from the from the next level program in Nigeria to go for the global experience. Mm -hmm. It came as a shocker to me that I got to be part of the global experience as well. So it was such a win-win for me. And um, being in the city of Abuja, I had done so much um, on my own. I didn't realize how much work I was doing mm. until um, Next Level came. And so I got so much help after that mm. to be able to do more and just um, um, know that support is possible even with the focus I had because I don't think I, I understood to the extent that I could do things with the help I got. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, after that, of course, the global experience happened, more connections, 
from people from different cities mm -hmm. and countries from other next level programs mm -hmm. and it was like okay you know what if i was serious about this thing i could come back and do even much more mm. and so uh like i was sharing earlier on with a friend this is ghana is my fourth encounter and experience and exchange with next level so right from the moment i became um, the country partner different experiences just kept on happening not just for me even with the people that were part of my program mm. you know so the story just keeps moving and just being back here in ghana mm. uh, it was definitely a privilege it is a privilege and then i get to still do what i love so i could go on and keep going no i i i, I appreciate it like what's unique is hearing you talk about like your joy you know and, and your passion and what you love to do and i think um that's unique because you're so centered in your communities thank you like and and you work so hard to help other people actualize you know for me it's just been a pleasure to to be engaged with you in in this cultural diplomacy space and and allow people to see that passion you know we we talk a lot about um cultural pro, cultural diplomacy abroad and how it actually starts locally yeah you know like in your community how you are engaging with people how you are in service it just improves the work that you do abroad so like i want to give you those flowers thank you like i, I think it's important um, to recognize artists and the work that they do at home. Um, but at home, what we did, like, is we connected with the U.S. Embassy where uh, we were able to bring um, people from different geopolitical regions, yeah, yeah, yeah. like to Abuja and, and connect um, them in this way. Um, do you feel like that was, like, honestly, was that helpful? Like, do you feel like this is the kind of thing that that helps people like art and do hip hop culture at large? Um, like that outreach, like reaching out to people from different places within a country and bringing them in? Yeah, I definitely do. First of all, I think that was a fantastic strategy, especially when Nigeria has 36 states different tribes and different experiences mm -hmm. and it was next level nigeria it wasn't next level lagos or abuja mm -hmm. so it was really important that we brought people from different cities and what what that made uh, what made that happen was because we didn't want to leave anybody out mm -hmm. and then the results of that was that these people went back to their communities to effect change Mm. I mean, the aerosol artists, it wasn't just about them again, it was about them training others and that is going mm. on so much. We also had the dancers, they went back, came, went to do some projects, you know, and they're, they're still, the fire just, they, you know, sometimes these dancers, they need to know that they're on the right path, mm. you know, and they went back with so much energy to do much more. We had the um, uh, music makers. I mean, they started connecting to do much more. And it wasn't just happening in one city anymore. It mm. was now like, you know, we're doing this in our various cities. Mm. And of course, that's how change starts because now we're not talking about people uh, of one language now. We're talking about people, different languages, so they can effect change within their community, locally, socially, and then for themselves. So I think in a very, um, in countries or in places where we have so many cultural differences, I think that was a very good strategy to go. Mm. And definitely the change wasn't just commercialized, it was, you know, it was dispersed. Mm. Yeah. So it's, it's awesome to, to see you since we first met and all the wonderful things you're doing. Like, can you 
update us a little bit and tell us about some of the things, well, I know what the things I would, you know, <laughs> for the cameras, like, you know, for the people out there who, okay. who, who don't know you. So I mentioned earlier on that this was my fourth experience being in Ghana with Next Level, um, or rather my first, uh, fourth Next Level experience, but being in Ghana first time. Um, so the third one was that I got to come back to continue a program I had initiated years ago, but this time around on a different uh, level. <laughs> Talking about next levels. Yes, it was on a different level. <laughs> so right after that, I came back to do For the Love of Hip Hop, which was uh, a program that brought in hip hop dancers uh, and dancers, not just hip hop dancers, but dancers that, you know, uh, came to experience something um, culturally and through hip hop. Um, it infused learning, dance, and entrepreneurship, as well as um, you know guest artists from different parts of the country as well. Mm -hmm. And then um, after that, I continued a mentorship program, and so literally I take in a couple of dancers every year. Mm -hmm. and they, they do a nine months program with me um, and it's a mentorship program that they get to uh, come and take classes, also do what we call business 101. Mm -hmm. They learn um, different aspects of business and choose what dimension they want to walk in as artists. Mm -hmm. And so this change, this, um, the mentorship program is a huge thing because you find out that there's so much doing and they're doing and most of them come in as already leaders in one field or the other mm -hmm. that didn't have the opportunity to be mentored. So that on its own, it's a different dimension. So I get to be part of their own programs um, apart from helping them with advice support them, engage them, help them produce, and then also give them platforms so that for places that they, people don't know them, they get to know them. Sometimes it's for a specific audience, sometimes it's for the community, and the program's just, you know, it's a cycle now, so we have different dancers coming in, you know, and then they get to do something else. They get to learn how they can prepare themselves for funding as well. Mm -hmm. So things like that is what we, we, we have turned into a cycle right now. Mm -hmm. And we hope to keep on doing that as well. We hope to connect with more teachers. So sometimes we also have teachers zoom in um, and teach. We have teachers coming directly into the studio to teach and share their experiences. And then they get to also mentor these dancers as well. So it's, it's a lot of um, work happening in that sector. Absolutely. Yeah. And since you've been here, um, talk to us a little bit about what you've been working with. Uh, the local dancers here. Mm, okay, so like I said, it's uh, my first time in Ghana and um, when I came in, I just dived straight in. I had a little time to connect with them. Uh, I liked, I was happy that I, I could feel their energy and spirit and what I wanted to do with them was um, share my side of my story. My story being um, the 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 fact that I'm a mix of different things and I wanted to just exp express them, that to them. And so we were, we did a hip hop Afro fusion choreography, uh, which included some of the things they knew mm -hmm. and some of the things they didn't. And this is Ghana. Ghana and Nigeria are like sisters and brothers. And so we have a lot of similarities, but the way they do it is different. Mm -hmm. So I told them a little bit of, you know, the way we do stuff and the, the story behind the dances that come out from Nigeria mm -hmm. and situations that make us go crazy sometimes. And then the story started from there. So there was a little bit of storytelling and um, movements. And um, I love the fact that they gave me energy back and I hope mm. that they had a good experience and I can't wait to see them on stage tonight. I'm super excited. Yeah. I got to watch you guys like yeah. 
build and, and train and things are looking exciting. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I wish you guys the, the best of luck. Thank you. Thank so, you. what's next? I would like, talk to me about like, what you're up to in, in the next months, years, like what's your vision? Okay, um, I want to be able to do this a little bit more. I'm glad I, I came in through Next Level to Ghana. Um, teaching is truly a passion for me mm -hmm. um, and also choreographing. And um, I hope to do more residencies uh, with other institutions and I hope to be able to instill confidence and share experiences with more uh, upcoming dancers uh, and tell stories as well with dance. Um, collaborations are things that I, I want to be able to do. Um, when it comes to culture, I think people want to be heard. And as much as I want to share stories, my story and stories from Nigeria and connect what we do. Uh, I want to also be able to uh, experience stories from other people and see where the meeting line is, mm -hmm. what's similar and how we could create a different story together from that point. So I think people evolve and not just in the styles but the fact that, you know, you just keep on creating connections that can affect the world. I want to be able to do that with more dancers, more choreographers, and teach in spaces as well um, to be able to share my story, you know, in dance, culturally. Well, I have, I have no doubt in my mind that you will actualize in the ways that you say. Mm. And thank you for taking some time to Sit with us in chat and I'll see you on stage tonight. Thank you. See you soon.